Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's version of Craft Corner. This week I've been reading a book about a dragon. How to be friends with a dragon by Valerie Gorbachev. I like books about dragons. And today I have made a dragon puppet. So I'm going to share with you how to go about making this. For your dragon puppet, you're going to need a dish glove, which is a rubber glove that's a little thicker than the, the regular ones. You need an inch and a half styrofoam ball. Our pattern for the scales and the tongue. And about two yards of yarn in a contrasting color and then two small pom-poms which are also the same color as the yarn. To start out with, oh and you're going to need white glue, a marker, and scissors. To start out with, I'm going to cut this in half. Uh, for you that are Summitville patrons, when you get your kit, I will already have cut these in half. For others that are getting their own balls, or they're getting their balls and they haven't been cut, have your parent use a serrated table knife, and they just cut the styrofoam in half. I'm making this using school glue because that way you don't have to deal with hot glue. The instructions that I got were using cool temperature hot glue. If you have some and your parents want to help you, then you can use that. But this works, I've found this works well. You just have to wait for it to dry before you do the next step. So the first thing I do is I take the ball and cut it in half and take the marker and make eyes on each half so that I have eyes that I'm going to put on my dragon. Then you want to take your pattern and cut it out so that you have a pattern for the tongue and a pattern for the scales. You'll take the tongue pattern and put it on your piece of craft foam, which you also need, I'm sorry. You need red craft foam and lavender craft foam or some other color that will contrast to your glove. For This is for the scales, this is for the tongue. So you put this on your foam and trace it and then cut it out so that you have a tongue and you trace and cut out the one for your scales. Your scales it has a little line right here where you cut in and that is going to bend back and forth so that the scales stand up on the back of the dragon. So you've got these prepared and this prepared. Then we're going to work with glue so you want something to protect your table. You take your glove and put it palm side up and take some glue and on the middle finger just run some glue thickly on that finger and lay your tongue on it sticking out just a little bit. Press that in and let that sit. Now I also have a little washcloth with some water on it to kind of clean up my mess. So that needs to sit for a day or at least until it's dry. I let mine sit a whole day because there's, there's some stress that is on that tongue when you're wiggling with your finger so you want it to be able to stick. Now after that's dry, I've got another one here I started the other day. So 
so it's good and dry and I'm flipping it over and I'm on the back of the hand now and this is where you're going to build all your cool stuff. First of all, you have the two pom-poms which are going to be the nose. So the pom-poms need to go on the ends of the fingers, on the middle finger and the ring finger. And your eyeballs are going to go right here at the top of the knuckles. And you just put some a lot of glue on them and stick them on. If you're hot gluing this, then it's going to be immediate. But if you're using your white glue, it's going to need to sit. Again, just let it sit there. Then your yarn, you need to find a piece of cardboard or something stiff that you can wrap around. And take your yarn and wrap it around and around and around and around until you run out of yarn then cut a little piece of this yarn off so that you can use it for your tie and put your piece of yarn right in the middle and tie it tight and slide your yarn off of the card and take your scissors and cut through so that you have some hair for your dragon or a mane for your dragon. And that is going to go right behind the eyes. So I need another big lump of glue there and I'm going to set that in there. And the only thing we have left then is the dragon scales. I have taken this scale pattern and bent those ends back so that one goes each way so that when you're looking at them they have kind of a flatness and then I'll put glue on each one of those and set them down on the back of the glove and let all of this dry overnight and the next day you're going to have a friend your dragon puppet to play with so I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next week for another episode of Craft Corner